This is Apple Insider's ultimate iMac buying guide, updated with new models for 2019. Hey everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. Apple has released a few new iMacs, which makes the desktop buying experience in the Apple ecosystem easier and harder to figure out. So we're gonna walk through the new machines and let you know which iMac to buy in 2019. In this video, we're primarily looking at iMacs. So we're not talking the Mac Pro Tower, we're not talking about the Mac Mini, but the Mac Mini is an important one to consider, especially if you're looking for the cheapest Apple desktop out there. You go with the Mac Mini, don't look at the iMacs, get a Mac Mini, get a cheap monitor to pair with it, and you're all set. However, if you want an all-in-one iMac, you should immediately ignore the base model unit and go for the 4K option. The existing 2.3 GHz dual-core iMac is not a good option for many people. While it is the cheapest iMac out there, there are so many limitations. You're only looking at an HD screen instead of 4K. It has subpar performance, you're getting a dual-core processor, and with all of that, you can spend only $200 more to go with the first entry-level 4K iMac. That is the one that we recommend for everyone out there who wants the lowest possible iMac but you don't wanna get ripped off with just going with that 2.3 gigahertz dual core option. Go with the 4K, it's faster, better display, pretty much everything in it is better for only $200 additional. So the model that we recommend is the 3.6 gigahertz quad core Retina 4K iMac. That is the new one that was just released and you're gonna get so much more in it for that $200 additional. The biggest drawback to that new iMac is the storage. It's a one terabyte storage, but it's a 5,400 RPM hard drive, and it's really slow. So if you do go for that machine, it is possible to update to a Fusion drive or upgrade further and go with a solid state drive. If you go with an SSD, you can get 256 gigs for $200 or get that Fusion drive for $100 more. That is an option, but if you're already dropping that change on a Fusion drive or a SSD, go up to the upper end of the selected models and get that 14 and 99 Retina 4K iMac. In that model, it does have the Fusion Drive, which gives you better performance, has a faster six core processor, improved graphics, and just overall is a better machine. So yeah, it does kind of sound like of all the iMacs that we recommend, it would be the three gigahertz six core Retina 4K iMac. You get that Fusion Drive, six core processor, more VRAM, improved graphics, over the model that's below it, either of the two models that are below it. So for most people, that's gonna be the one that we recommend, $14.99 for the most recommended iMac. If you want a larger display, you can go from that 4K to the 5K unit, and that gives you more screen real estate, and it keeps the specs the same. So you pretty much have the same exact specs with a larger display in there. You can interchange between both of those models depending on which one you prefer for your workflow. So that brings us to the models that we would recommend when you're looking for some really great performance. We recommend grabbing the 5K iMac and boosting it to the 3.6 gigahertz, eight core, ninth generation Intel Core i9 processor. Using that, it can also get equipped with the Radeon Pro Vega 48 with eight gigs of HBM2 memory and 32 gigs of 2666 megahertz DDR4 RAM. Even with all of those customizations added to that machine, you're still 1250 below the iMac Pro. So you're gonna have really similar performance, but you're gonna be saving quite a bit of money from the iMac Pro. Of course, the iMac Pro can be customized way further. You can boost a whole lot more on that machine than the 5K iMac. You also get a few additional Thunderbolt 3 ports, but looking at pure performance, you can save a lot of money and get most of what that machine is at least until that one gets updated. So to recap everything, if you want the cheapest Apple desktop, go with the Mac mini and don't look at the iMacs. But if we're looking at the all-in-ones at the iMac line, ignore the 2.3 gigahertz dual core processor model. It's a legacy unit. It is not a good value at all. Go for the brand new base unit 4K Retina model. It's a 21.5 inch display. It's gonna do great. The only downside is the 5400 RPM hard drive that is inside. You can upgrade that if you want to, 
or if that is a concern, spend another couple hundred dollars, get the $1,500 unit. It's that three gigahertz, six core processor. It's gonna be much better with speed. You're gonna automatically have a terabyte fusion drive built in. You're gonna have more VRAM, turbo boost is going to be available, better graphics, a ton of stuff for $1,500. That is the one that we're going to recommend for most people, whether you want the 21.5 inch 4K monitor or you want to boost it up, get the larger 5K display that's also absolutely beautiful. So go with that spec with either size retina display that you prefer. Lastly, if you want to save some money but you want the best performance possible, go with that high-end unit, get that i9 processor, boost it up there with a Radeon Pro 48 graphics. That's gonna give you nearly what you would get out of an iMac Pro, but save yourself quite a bit of money in the process, at least until that iMac Pro gets updated in 2019. So what do you guys think? What is your go-to iMac? What is your favorite one out there? What would you customize on your ideal unit? Let us know your customizations and your thoughts down below in the comments. Enjoy that video? Click like and press on that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the Apple Insider Price Guide that has the best deals on Apple devices and is updated daily. Follow us on social media and we'll see you guys in the next video.